In this video, we're going to try and find out the surface area of y equals x squared being rotated 360 along the x-axis. So, uh, so we're going to do it from 0 to anywhere, let's say from 0 to a. So from 0 to a. So if you look at the arc length from 0 to a, so, so if you look at the arc length from 0 to let's say anywhere, let's say a, if you rotate it 360 along the x-axis, you're going to trace out a, 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 a surface area. We are going to try and work out the, uh, the surface area. But in order to do that, um, I, I'll require you to, uh, to know that when you integrate, uh, when you integrate this, it will give you this. And when you integrate this, it will then give you this. And we've done this in the previous two videos. So I, I, I will require you to know this and this. Okay? So the idea, um, the idea behind this is, well, we're trying to work out the surface area. So the idea is we're going to sum up everything from, from zero to, let's say, from zero to, let's say, A. So, uh, so if you look at the thickness of, of this random slice, the thickness here is dx. Let me just zoom in so I can exaggerate what's going on. So the thickness, so if you look at one slice, let's just pretend that this is one slice. Uh, so, so the thickness here is, uh, is dx. So the idea here is that you, you, you've got your dx and then you, 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 you work out the, uh, the arc length, which we've done in the past and it's given by this. So, so starting out with your dx, if you combine it with this thing here, then the whole thing here collectively will, uh, will represent the, the, the arc length, which is this length here. Once you've got your arc length, which is this whole thing here, if you, uh, if you rotate, if you times it by the circumference of a circle, then, uh, then that will then trace out a, uh, a, a surface area for that one particular slice. And then because you're summing up all these slices, then you're going to need uh, from zero to a, you, you basically sum up everything here. So, so this y here is, so hang on, let's, let's start again. So the idea here is that we're going to sum up everything from zero to, let's say, a. Now the thickness associated with this random slice here is dx. So you start with your dx, you start with your dx. Once you've got your dx, then, uh, then jump to the surface, then jump to the surface, then jump to the, um, jump to the arc length. So this here collectively is the arc length. Once you've got your once you've got your arc length here, uh, times times with the circumference of the circle, that will then give you uh, the uh, the surface area for for that one particular slice. And then you want to sum up all the slices. So you take the integral from zero to a. And uh, I've explained this in the past. So um, so maybe track down one of the early videos. So the surface area is given by this. And and this this y here. Remember, you're, you're moving along in the, in the, uh, in the, in the x direction. And as you're moving along, you, 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 you need to times it with the circumference, uh, of, of the circle. So you need the, the radius, or in this case, the radius is, is the height. Well, the height is this y here. So, so this y here is really you summing up. And as you're, as you're moving in the x direction, you're all, you're always going to need the height. You're always going to need this y, the value of the height. The height is y. Well, y is, is x squared. So later on, we can put the x squared into, into the y. Because as you're moving along, the height is always given by, by x squared. Well, anyway, the surface area, the surface area will be given by this. The surface area will be given by this. Now, if you look at this, you, you're going to need dy by dx. So let's try and work out dy by dx. Later on, we need to square it. So starting with this, uh, dy by dx equals this. Square it, it will then give you this. So going back to the surface area, the surface area is given by this. We now know this. This is uh, this is uh, 4x squared, so we can put it into here. So the surface area is given by, uh, hang on, let me think. The surface area is given by given by this now. Okay, so, so we, we basically put this into, uh, into what was here before. Okay, so now, uh, now, let me think. Now, now, uh, this is a constant. So, uh, so take it out. And then, uh, so now the surface area is given by this. So now it's just a matter of, um, of evaluating this. So to evaluate this, um, your, your, your eyes should zoom into this bit. And then create a triangle in such a way that this is true. Well, if you create this triangle, if you make this 
to be uh, 2x and to be 1, then, uh, then, then, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be 1 plus, uh, so it's really you just using Pythagoras here. Okay, so, so now if you, uh, if you make the substitution, uh, so remember tan, tan theta, so this angle here is theta, tan theta equals 2x over, over 1 here. Uh, and then that, that just cancels out, so it's really 2x. And then, uh, and then divide both sides by 2, so x. So make this to be your substitution. So make this to be your substitution. Okay. And then, uh, and then, and then, so, so hang on, let's start again. Uh, so now it boils down to us trying to integrate this. So to, to integrate this, your eyes should zoom in such, you, your eyes should zoom into this, this complicated square root bit. And then create a triangle in such a way that this triangle, uh, this uh, square root bit is true. So, uh, so create a triangle. So let's let's so create a triangle to be this. Uh, and then from from the triangle, you can see that tan tan is is two uh, x over one, which is just two x. And then uh, and then uh, and then let me think. And then uh, uh, and then uh, and then this complicated bit here is really uh, it's really it's really you. Well, you, you want to replace this complicated bit here. Well, this complicated bit here, you should use secant. So, uh, so you, secant, uh, theta equals, uh, equals this thing here, because it's going to be this divided by one, which is, which is just this. So now we can, uh, we can replace this complicated bit here. So, uh, so we can put this into here. And then, uh, and then, and then dx, once, once you've got your, uh, Hang on, let, let me think. Uh, once you're here, then differentiate both sides. That will then give you this. And then you've got your dx here. Now you've got your dx. So you can put this into the dx. You can put uh, you can put this. Hang on. You can put this into uh, this complicated bit here. And then uh, and then x squared. X squared. Well, you would look at this. X squared. You would look at this. Divide both sides by two. That will then give you this, and then square both sides. So that will give you tan squared over four. So you can put tan squared over four into here. So the whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. Okay. Um, I I will continue in the uh, in the next video.